Hey y'all, I hope you're all doing well. So today is December 22nd and tomorrow we are going to do our staycation. I think I want to try to make this a tradition for the holidays because I feel like it's just a lot easier sometimes to get away, but I don't like dealing with like the airports or like any port of transportation during like rush seasons because I just feel like it just gets way too crazy. So staying at home, but not at home, I feel like it's a really good option. But because we're getting ready to go to a hotel tomorrow, I need to pack some things to take with us for overnight. We are going to be staying there through Christmas Eve and so we're going to be opening some presents there as well as, you know, Stephen and I having some alone time and things like that. So I need to pack. I was going to do a full pack with me, but honestly, like, I think I might just save that later <laughs> when we go to Vegas. We're going to Vegas um, later in January for Edison's birthday, which I know some people think is crazy that I'm taking a toddler to Vegas, but there's a lot of cool things there for like babies and whatnot, not babies, but like toddlers and things like that. Um, so we're taking him to Vegas for his birthday. And so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys a more concise pack with me for that because we are only bringing carry-ons. I hate checked luggage. Like I know so many people rather just check their luggage, but like I don't, I don't like checking luggage. Stuff always gets broken. People go through your stuff. Your luggage gets lost. It's just, it's a lot easier just to bring it with you on the plane. And I am such a good packer. Like I know I toot my horn every single time, but I'm such a good packer that I can generally get like more than what I need in a carry on and a personal item. And so um, I'll show you guys like all our packing for that trip, but I figured I'd might as well just go ahead and show you guys um, the makeup and the hair stuff that I'm bringing with me. Stuff to take care of mommy so mommy looks good <laughs> during the holidays. Um, I did a whole glam look for the holidays. I didn't end up posting it because the quality of sound with the Sony, like I love the Sony camera that I have, but the sound is omnidirectional and our house was old. So we have like a lot of pipes in our house and like the sound just wasn't working and it just, it bugged me. I'm like by no means a perfectionist, but it bugged me so freaking much that I was just like, I, I just can't deal with this. <laughs> so I didn't end up posting it, but I did post some pictures of what the eye look looked like on my Instagram stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, you definitely should. I have hit 5,000 on there. And so I'm just so, so thankful for you guys. Like it means a lot to me that you guys are actually interested in like the photos and videos and stuff I post up there. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to figure out what I'm bringing with me for our little quick staycation trip. Quick staycation trip. There we go. I can speak. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to turn you guys around real quick. So I have my little cosmetics case here and this is the one from Coach. I picked it up for like 70 bucks or something like that. And I don't think it's as big as the Louis Vuitton one. However, this has been my go-to travel case. It is so freaking cute in my opinion. I love the floral patterns on it. It has been really durable. And then I'm not sure how well you guys can see, but the inside, you can actually easily wipe it down. And so I just really, really enjoy using this case. And yeah, it's just small and compact, but you can fit a lot of stuff in there. So when i'm not using it i actually use it to store a lot of my samples because i prefer bringing samples and travel sizes with me when i travel so i don't have to worry about you know just it taking up a lot of space i think i'm going to turn my mic around hold on so yeah so i'm just going to empty out what's in here and i'm going to figure out what I am going to bring with me and everything I bring with me will be enough to do a full face and you guys like you can honestly pack everything you need to do a full face for like a week and like in one of these and like another small case you don't need to bring a large train with you to get like glam makeup for like a week or so okay so now that this is empty out 
this is all the sample stuff that I have so I think I'm gonna start in order that I would do my makeup just so I don't get confused so I have these sample packs here from a Too Faced order and I always save these sample foundations because I just feel like these are great to use for vacation and whatnot they generally are give you enough for like one use and so you can bring one for each day you're going to be away so we're really going to be away for one day so i'll just bring one because i can do my makeup before we leave and so i think i'm going to bring mahogany because that's the shade that i am currently wearing right now so i'm going to put that in there and then i'm going to just put these aside and find a place to store these while i am taking this with me. Oh, so I have this perfume here. I'm not sure if uh, we're going to focus, but this is the Gabriel by Chanel. I do like the Chanel perfumes. I generally use the Mademoiselle, um, but this one smells pretty good. So I'm going to try that out as well. I'm going to be bringing a concealer too. And yes, I'm going to be bringing this cute little baby size. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. And I know there's a lot of good concealers out there. Here we go. And I know there's a lot of good concealers out there, but this has just always been my go-to concealer. I just can't seem to get away from it. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. So I have these mascaras here. I've been testing out the Better Than Sex one because everybody and their mom talks about this mascara. I generally have been using the They're Real when I do use mascara, but for the most part, I wear false extensions, so I only really use mascara on my bottom lashes, um, lashes, <laughs> my bottom lashes. Um, so yeah, so I've been using this. But then I also got this Chanel one as a sample when I ordered my uh, Chanel makeup. And so yeah, I'm curious as to how this one is going to perform. Here's a better look at it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So I said I was gonna do this in order and I totally got sidetracked. So I have my foundation in there. I also have my concealer in there, I have perfume, and I also have uh, mascara. So let's stay with the eyes. So I picked this up recently. This is the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession. This was actually on sale at Sephora. So I got it for about 15 bucks, though I think it only retails for like 20 or something like that. It's not an expensive palette. It's up one-handed. There we go. But yeah, it has such beautiful colors. And like I'm loving like these very shimmery, sparkling ones for the holidays. I feel like I can kill two birds with one stone with this palette. So I'm thinking about this one, and I think this one has nine shades. Yeah, okay, so that's nine shades there. So that's quite a lot for a small size. So I'm thinking I might do that one, but I'm also thinking about the gingerbread palette too, which, oh my gosh, opening things up with one hand is like the worst. So this is eight shades, but yeah, these shades are pretty shimmery too. They feel like the colors are actually very similar. Um, that's not like a super glam holiday look, but you can get like a nice cute holiday look and get good photos. But yeah, I feel like these are very, very similar. So I think I'll go with the Huda Beauty one just because I've used this hot butter drum one before and I do like it. I've been using this a lot lately, but I haven't tried this one out yet. So I think I'm going to try this one out. So also, since I have my eyes, uh, since I have my eyes, also since I have my eyeshadows, I do like to use a primer. Um, not everyone needs a primer, but I do have darker skin, so I find that when I put a primer on, the shadows just show up a lot better. So I'm gonna put the primer in there as well. Then I have highlight options. Um, I don't need to have a whole bunch of highlights, so I have this liquid highlight Highlight from Becca and I believe this one is the opal yeah this is opal and they're a liquid one this is also opal but in the powder and then this is I think this is lilac geode yeah this is their lilac geode 
and this one is such a pretty shadow you guys getting used to this new lens you guys but yeah this shadow is so freaking pretty i think i'm going to do the lilac geode because i've really been loving the bigger size of this lately so i'm gonna put that in there for my highlight because I totally skipped the primer for my face. I always wear a primer as well. I'm gonna be using this Becca First Light Priming Filter. I have this as well as a bigger bottle of it, but I've never actually tried it, so I figured this would be a good time to try it while I'm away, but not too far away, so if it's a huge mistake, I can go get one of my other primers. By the way, this is a primer that I've been trying out lately too. I got this in one of my Christmas gifts that I got early. And yeah, I've actually really been enjoying this. It feels so good on the face. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite primer. I've been really enjoying the Milk Primer. Um, to be honest, the Hydro Grip, the best. But this one actually does feel really good on the skin. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and pick up the travel size, which is 22 bucks, which is expensive for a travel size but it does feel really good on the skin and it's supposed to be having it's supposed to be having and it's supposed to have uh, good benefits for your skin as well and to think about powders so I have this Becca translucent powder here and uh, travel size and then I also have that's not a powder this I am gonna bring with me though this is my Fenty Beauty um, bronzer which is dark enough for me to use as a contour and look how shiny that packaging is um, what shade is this in this is in caramel beauty though so yeah I'm gonna be using this as a bronzer and popping that in there I don't think I have anything else smaller though that I can use as a powder I might I always get weirded out with translucent powders because so again I'm like a deep skin girl and so with these wider powders you know sometimes they work out good sometimes they don't work out that well for me um, but I think I'm gonna stay tried and true with this baby this like oh gosh okay I really enjoy this powder not only does it smell good but it just the finish of it is just really really beautiful the only problem for me is that it's expensive I think this was 55 bucks for this compact struggling way too much to get this stuff open one-handed but yeah this is what the compact looks like and oh my goodness it smells so good <laughs> very very good um, but yeah like you don't get that much for the price but Smashbox used to have a compact almost exactly like this for like literally half the price, more than half the price, less than half the price, however you say that. And uh, it was just as good, but they discontinued it. And so I was so mad about that. Um, but yeah, this is their La Tint Ultra Tenure. Uh, or yeah, Tenure. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what this powder is. And I highly, highly highly recommend it if you want to splurge um, I'll continue to see if they have a dupe out that's not discontinued but yeah I think I'm just gonna go with this because I don't know I'm afraid to test this one like I just think it might just be too too white for a powder for me so let's see can we squeeze that in on the side and as you guys can see we're doing plenty well in space here and we pretty much got all the makeup essentials that we need we do need some lips though so so i've got all of these glosses i bought a couple of kylie cosmetics um during black friday because they had a sale for um like the facial stuff like bronzers and blushes and highlighters and whatnot i haven't tried those yet um honestly i looked at them though and they didn't look that great to me and then uh, i was able to get all these lip products they're all minis but i got them all for like 10 bucks so and i got these at ulta so i'm thinking that i might want to give these a try and this color this color kind of looks nice for the holidays i'm a huge fan of pinks but i don't know these reds look nice too they look very similar but they're different so this one is bite me and that looks like it's a more bluish red and this one is mary joe 
which I would say is probably more of like, you know, a blood red. So I think I'll put these two in there. Okay, so I was going to pick out my blushes because I realized I didn't pull out the blushes yet. And then I found this. I picked this up with my Target Rewards points. I love Target Circle, by the way, because you can get so much. Well, you get 1% cash back every single time you spend there, and it really does add up. So I bought this because I've never tried it, but I've heard so many people talk about it. So I think I'm actually going to try this instead of bringing the Chanel one. And I think that's a much safer bet. And then I also think I'm going to be extra. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil or Chocolate Gold Soleil. And this is supposed to be a bronzer, but I know it's gonna come out more like a highlighter on me. So I know this probably would have come out like a lot better in the daytime, you guys. <laughs> but um, oh, can we focus? There we go. So yeah, I think, you know, this will definitely look a little bit more like a highlighter on my skin tone, but I think it still looks gorgeous. So I think this mixed with the chocolate, uh, not chocolate, but lilac geode would be really pretty. So we're gonna put that in there too. And look how much space we have. We have so much makeup to play around with. We can do a really gorgeous, gorgeous look. And like we have space for plenty of other stuff in here. Or maybe not plenty of other stuff, but we can get what we need in here, so. You can definitely do it, ladies. Okay, so here are my Becca blushes. I picked up quite a few during Black Friday, and then I also got some from Marshalls and TJ Maxx as well. They do get makeup from like Sephora and Ulta and the uh, stores around them, and so you can get makeup from really good prices. So this one I bought on the Becca website. And it kind of came a little messed up. I think it's because of the cold weather. Like some of the product got stuck to the protective sticker, but it does look like a really pretty color. I haven't used this one yet, but this one I think is the Rose Gold Cream Blush. Yeah, this is the Rose Gold Skin Perfector Cream to Powder. This one is Snapdragon. And I think I've used this one before. I think this one is really, really pretty. But I think I've used this one before and I wanna try as many new products as possible. Yeah, so I've used this one before. But this one is such a pretty pink color. And which one's this one? This one is Tiger Lily. Yeah, so I haven't used this one yet. But that's a really pretty orange color. Here we go. Look how pretty that color is, you guys. That's such a gorgeous color. So I might do that one. And then what's this last one? Delilah. I've used Delilah before, so I'm not going to bring that one. But this one's a really gorgeous color as well. But yeah, look how deep that purple is. And for some skin tones, like maybe for lighter skin tones, this might be a bit much, but this shows up so perfectly on my dark skin. Like, I love this one. Like, I just got this one, but this has been a go-to of mine. But I do want to play with new things, so I think, I think I'm going to try rose gold for the holidays. Oh, whoa, I took this out. Let's put this one back in. I don't know why I took that one out. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we are getting pretty full up in there, but we have a good amount of makeup, so I do need a lip liner. So, I think I'll go with this one, and this is Miss Diva from MAC. Put that in there. And then what else do I need? I have my blush, I need a lipstick, so. It's a lip gloss that I got as a sample for my 100 points from Sephora. Gosh, I have so many points with Sephora, but they don't always have like the best stuff. So yeah, but I went ahead and I picked this up and this one is in American Woman. So I know I have a bigger one of these, but I haven't yet tried this. So I think I'm gonna pop that in there too and use that as a topper. And hopefully, hopefully my lips will look good. So just a few more things. So I picked up this Marc Jacobs kit at 
TJ Maxx today. No, I picked it up at Marshalls today. It doesn't really matter. I picked it up from a discount store and I was really looking for a travel size eye underliner that I thought would be really, really good. I love my Wet n Wild one, but I can only find the sparkly one in my area and that's just not the look I'm going for. So I got this for 13 bucks and it came with two eyeliners, uh, under eyeliner and a bug one that's in black and brown and then also a travel size of their mascara. So I'm not going to be using their mascara. I am going to be trying out the Chanel one, but I am going to be bringing their eyeliners with me. So I'm going to pop those into the box oh my gosh okay you guys that was in there really hard but <laughs> that is this is what they look like so they're pretty small but i felt like these would be really really good for travel so i'm gonna pop those in there and we are getting pretty filled up on space here but not too much left to take so I am gonna be putting this in here. This has been so used, but generally when I do my brows, all I use is this brow, tinted brow gel from Benefit. This is in shade four. But yeah, I just use this on my eyebrows. Some of you guys think I need to do more with my eyebrows. Y'all let me know on Instagram a lot. That's okay. <laughs> Um, but I actually have pretty full eyebrows, so I don't want to do too much to lose them. So yeah, I just use this for the most part and that's it. So I'm gonna pop that in there. Uh oh, I popped something in and something came out. So put that in there. And yeah, so we are pretty close to the top here. So one more thing in there. And I think I'm going to bring this glitter because it is Christmas after all, so let's be a little bit festive. I did pick this one up from Marshalls as well. And this one is in the Citrus Mistress and it's a really nice glitter topper. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I think we are full. Oh, I left one thing out. Okay. So I'm just going to try to reorganize this because I realized I left this out and I technically guess I don't need it since I have the chocolate souffle in there. But I do want to see if I can fit all these goodies in here in like the most effective way. And then I did get two packs of these just in case I need a second one. And then this actually comes with a pouch. So I generally keep falsies in this pouch just in case I need them. Um, but I'm gonna stuff those in that pouch. Then the concealer. I suppose if I have concealer, I don't really need an eyeshadow primer because like I can use this as a primer, which I often do. So I'm gonna take the primer out for this. Mm, I'm dealing with glitter, so now I'm gonna put this one back in because I'm dealing with glitter. Put this to the side. And then my lip glosses. And let me know how you guys like these. I know some people really love these and other people are like meh but I figured I'd go ahead and give them a try. <laughs> My camera was falling, so I put you guys down lower. But okay, I just put in the lipsticks. Let's move those up. She is all packed. 
So I did want to show you guys some of the other stuff that I was bringing that's not going in the cosmetics case. So I am bringing this Tarte Micellular Water. They call it Micellular Magic. I do have the bigger size as well and I just keep it on my vanity right there. However, okay, so this isn't a bad micellular water. I think it's really pretty. I think it's perfect for travel. This is nine bucks and you can get the Garnier one for five bucks. So it is like almost double the price. You get the same amount. And I wouldn't necessarily say that this is any better. It just looks prettier. So since I was able to splurge on it, I did. But this isn't like miracle water or anything like that any micellular water will do you. But I do like bringing micellular water with me when I travel just because it's a lot easier to get like waterproof makeup and stuff like that off. And this does do a wonderful job removing waterproof makeup. So I bring that. And then I also have my all nighter spray. This was the original finishing spray for me. I don't really reach for this one as much anymore as some of the other sprays that I have. However, I do really love this spray. I used this spray on my wedding day and it worked perfectly. My makeup did not move. Like a lot of other things moved, but not my makeup. And so um, I do like this spray a lot. And so um, I'm gonna be packing the spray in my keep ball with me as well. Okay, so future Moni is coming in here to show you guys brushes because I totally forgot about brushes and what good is having all that makeup if you have nothing to apply it with. So these are the brushes that I used to travel with. Um, I actually just picked up this container from Marshalls for eight bucks and it came with a set of five brushes. Um, but I do like to use a little bit more brushes than that. Um, so I just have a whole bunch of my uh, tried and true travel brushes here. I have some old MAC brushes, some from Urban Decay, some from Too Faced and other um, like just mini sets that I've gotten. And then I have this big heart kabuki, big, it's not really big, it's a tiny big kabuki brush um, that I got from Too Faced a couple of years ago. So these are gonna be the brushes. And then I do think I'm gonna bring a sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a clean sponge. And just go ahead and put the sponge in there as well. That way I have a sponge to easily do my uh, under eye with the concealer. And yeah, just put that in there. I might want to put a rubber band over this because the sponge is like really popping things out and not keeping things in there nice and neat. I can take this one out because I don't really need that one. But I think the sponge is going to be useful for me. So yeah, I might put a rubber band over it, but this is like literally smaller than my hand. So it's gonna take up no space at all in the bag. So as far as hair products go, I do have my little Baby Chi flat iron here. And I love like flat irons because you can use them to curl your hair, you can use them to straighten your hair, get a little volume in your hair. Like they're just really, really nice. So I prefer flat irons to curlers. So I'm just gonna put that in a little traveling case for my hair. I also have some hair protectant here. So this is the 44 Iron Guard. I'm gonna put that in there as well as just an infrared treatment. So I'm gonna put that in there just to protect the hair. I'm also bringing this dry shampoo. This is the perfect hair day. This works really good for a spray when I do my curls and whatnot. And so I think I'm gonna to try to get a little dressed up a little bit for, um, you know, if we do a dinner or something like that. Uh, and Steven and I are doing a date day. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. And then I do wear a wig, and so I like the got to be glued just for tacking it down so I don't have to use like actual glue on my hair and just let my hair grow. So I have a little traveling container for that, so that's gonna go in there as well. Also a shower cap, so when I shower I don't have to ruin my hairstyle. 
and then this whey leave-in conditioner this works great on my wig as well as my natural hair and so I'm gonna put that in there as well and I think that's all I need to bring okay you guys so I went ahead and added uh, my toiletries and whatnot to this chi hair bag and put them all in my keep all this is a keep all 45 by the way so this does work and counts as a personal item on most planes and whatnot so yeah I put all that stuff in my keep all and this is how much space I have left so I have plenty of space left for clothes and shoes and you know iPad my laptop um, I'm not going to need all of that because literally we're just there for a day so I'm gonna be able to pack all of Steven's stuff in Edison stuff and my stuff in here as well but yeah it doesn't take up that much space at all I have three small containers and you know I probably actually won't bring this and then boom look how much space like there's in here there's literally so much space it takes up like no space at all and yeah we are good to go for the weekend okay guys so my bag is officially packed we are ready to go for our staycation tomorrow i hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know down below also let me know if you'd like to see a full on pack with me for a carry-on i think i've done a couple before but i've done them more for like car trips and things like that not necessarily airplanes now that edison is almost two i can't believe he's almost two you guys but now that edison is older I don't need to bring as much stuff with me and so it's a lot easier for us to travel with carrying on only which is what I prefer um, but yeah oh also I'll leave a link down below but I do have a blog post up about staycations and why you should try them for the holidays this is going to go up probably either Monday or Wednesday so the blog post will be live I'll have the link down below it'll also be on my Instagram so you can just follow the link from there um, but yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful holidays Merry Christmas Happy New Year's and I'll see you guys in the next one bye